Hi, my name is Ted Ryan. I'm the archivist for the Coca-Cola Company, and we are in the archive storage space where I'm surrounded by a couple of my friends, the polar bears. From a historical perspective, you have to put the polar bear ad up with the, with the top. It's one of the three iconic Coke commercials that were ever created. You have the Hilltop ad, you have the Mean Joe Green ad, and you have the polar bear ad. The one commercial that always stood out for me, like for a lot of people, is the Mean Joe Green commercial. And I remember that had such heart. I was trying to figure out how to do that in a new way. My dog, which was a yellow lab, walked into my office and kind of plunked himself down. And, and I looked at him and I just said to myself, boy, if I could just get the feeling I have for that dog into this commercial, that would be a new Mean Joe Green. The dog always looked like a, a polar bear. And I thought, wow, polar bear. Coke, cold, refreshing, great. For me, Coke was a feeling, more than it was a product. I just wanted to continue a narrative that supported that mythical, magical sense of what Coke is. That's why animation worked, because it's, it's magical. The reason I wanted Rhythm and Hughes, the, you know, the animation company, was they said something magical to me. They said, we can do fur. And I went, you can do fur, that's great. I said, you can make it look like the wind is blowing through the fur, and they said, yeah, we can do that. The animation for the Coca-Cola polar bear ads was, was groundbreaking at the time. Put yourself back in place, 1993, the internet's not even fully functioning yet. You don't have all the materials that you can do today where anybody can make a movie on their home computer. We looked for bear growls, bear grunts, bear this, bear that, but none of them matched the inflections. Uh, that the characters were doing in the spot. I did it as a way of saying, this is what we need to do to present it to Coke. And in the end, everybody seemed to say, okay, well, you know, that works. In 1993, Northern Lights was introduced. It was such a popular ad. And so they had to go back and remake magic. And how do you remake magic when you struck gold the first time? And each one of these ads, the bear family enlarges but it's still that same essence of fun. The bear universe is one where you're happy and you wanna, you wanna belong in it. Polar Bear became an icon, just like Mean Joe Green and just like Hilltop, because those are ads that communicate to everybody and they tell a simple story and they tell it well. Because of its authenticity, it's still around. When you can hit that, when you can hit something that's authentic, that mark, it lasts forever. 